All right, hi and welcome back. Tony Steve Vondren here. Today we are talking in this video about Coogan account. What is a Coogan account? This has to do with California entertainment law, child actors. Without further ado, let's head to the Attorney Steve litigation whiteboard. Okay, so this uh, is a law that's called the Coogan's Law. This is in California. This was a law that came out in 1939, known as the California Child Actors Bill. This law is named after Jackie Coogan, okay? Some of you may or may not know Jackie Coogan. This goes way back. He was discovered by Charlie Chaplin way back when. He was a young child actor. I believe he was in Oliver Twist. Uh, very talented. Some of you my age may know him as Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester on the Adams Family. What a great role. But what happened is basically his he was a child actor. He had accumulated about two, three, four million dollars. His parents had basically managed his funds. Up here we have your parent guardian. They had managed his funds. Here's your child actor here. And they had managed his fund properly. And then what happened is his dad died and his mom married a stepfather. Next thing you know, all the money's gone. And when, when uh, Jackie Coogan gets older, he sues to try to get his money back. But he gets something like $100,000 plus dollar, hundred thirty or something. Doesn't get a lot of money back. So sad story, sad ending. You do hear this from time to time. Like Shirley Temple, I think, also was a young child star. And at the end of the day, lost a lot of her money. And I think she got deeded a, a something to her dollhouse, a deed to the do, a dollhouse. Not much. So taking advantage of these child actors. Um, and a child actor is somebody under the age of 18. Many times you have six-year-old, eight-year-old, you know, two-year-olds, whatever. You have all kinds of child actors. The Coogan's Law demands demands that the child actor under 18 has a trust fund, a Coogan, a Coogan account, as we call it, or a Coogan trust account set up in their name. And once you have that set up, that allows them to get a work permit. And 15% of their wages need to go, at least 15% need to go into the trust fund. So when they get older, they have something to go after, okay? And this is what we call the age of emancipation the age of emancipation. You're free. You're 18. Go get that money. Show me the money, as we say. So when you turn 18, the child actor can come up here and get the money that is entitled, that they are entitled to. This helps protect them, okay, from abusive vultures and agents and parents and things who might want to take and spend all their money, okay? So this law amends the California Family Code, Section 6750 to 53, I believe, and the California Labor Code. Now, the Labor Code has to deal with child actors have certain limitations on how long they can work, the hours, uh, studying. They need to do some studying, a couple hours a day, whatever the case may be. But that law needs to be followed. But this part of the Coogan's Law needs to be followed. And under this law, the and I'm going to give you a brief overview if you ever heard of somebody saying you need to create a trust. I'll give you the three terms you normally see in a trust. The trustor, this is the parent or the guardian, sets up the trust. The trustee, in this case, it's the bank, maybe it's Wells Fargo, maybe it's Morgan Stanley, maybe it's some other company, has a Coogan account. They set it up. These are the trustees. A trustee is the highest level of duties known to law. This is a fiduciary duty, the duty of the highest loyalty, no self-interest, that kind of thing. And they can be liable for the smallest of breach. In one case I saw, somebody had sued one of the uh, banks for charging them fees. A bank can't charge fees. Um, you, can't, you can't charge taxes. You can't charge liabilities to the trust fund. This is basically the child's money. Okay, This is their money. No messing with it. You can add to it, but you can't take it out without a court order from the Superior Court in California, okay? So this is basically how it works. You have the trustee, and of course, the child actor is the beneficiary. They're the ones that entitled to the funds. The funds, they're the beneficiary. Everything goes in here for the benefit of them. So you have trustor, trustee, beneficiary. That's your basic setup under a trust. So we're giving you that golden information here. Breach of fiduciary duty, BFD. I know what some pe people think it is. No, it's not that. Breach of fiduciary duty, 
And that means the highest level of trust, any mismanagement, you can sue. But you're going to want to sue as soon as you learn of that because statute of limitations can be in play. The soon as you discover any abuse of the Coogan Act, you've got it, okay? Uh, you must go to court to modify or amend. When you're 18, you can come to court to petition to terminate the trust so you can get your money. That's what you want to do. If you're a child actor, make sure that you have somebody looking out for your best interests. When you're, even when you're 18, you don't know the best things for yourself. Stocks, real estate, those kinds of things. You know, if you go buy it like a vehicle, you go buy it. I'm going to go buy a Porsche and you roll it off the, off the curb. You're going to lose 10, 20, 30, 000, whatever it is. You're going to lose money at the day you roll the car over the curb. So you don't always want to just go out and buy the big shiny car to show everybody you're rich. Having good money managers, good parents, guardians, people that put your best interests at heart. And just so you know, these people can be actors, musicians, who's covered by this law, actors, musicians, um, producers, directors, choreographers. It's a pretty broad, it's pretty broad who's covered under this law. Now, who's not covered like kid fluencers, kid fluencers, like social media whiz, whiz kids that are bringing up all these uh, monetization, all these videos are making all this money. Uh, they're not covered. There's no Coogan as of yet required. Okay. So you can also go to court. Now, uh, one other thing about 18 years old and minors, this is good bar testable stuff. Kids that are under 18 years old, can disavow their contract. So they can enter into a, a contract with SAG when they're 16 years old, 12 years old, and they can disavow it when they get older and they can do all this. Under the Coogan Law, if you want, what parties will usually do is go to court to have the court, I don't know if I have it up here, to have the court approve approve the contract so that the minor cannot disavow when they become 18 years old or what we call the age of majority. So you can have the court, superior court, approve the minor contract so it cannot be disavowed. In general, a minor can disavow any time till they reach the age of 18 and shortly thereafter unless it is for necessities like food, shelter, clothing, things like that. Okay, that's your general bar rule, okay? Um, again, 15% plus, you can put more. You can't tax or fees. The bank can't be charging you management fees and things like that, taking it out of your account. And there is an unclaimed Coogan. If you go to unclaimcoogan.org, apparently there's a fund where a lot of actors i think one i read was justin bieber had some money in there but there's other actors that have money that can go in there type your name in and see if you're entitled to any funds if the funds were not claimed if the account was closed what happens is it goes to this actors fund and that's where you can go unclaimed coogan i wish i oh i wish i was a child actor and i maybe i had some money in there but eh, let's stop dreaming so anyway, this is how it works. This is the Coogan account, the Child Actors Bill. And if you need some help with the Coogan account, you can go to my website, attorneysteve.com. I'm going to put up a, um, a blog for you to read with all this information. I'm going to put some information down in my message uh, area below. So make sure you're checking that. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Who else knows what a Coogan account is? You do. You do. Thanks to attorneysteve.com. Give me a thumbs up, a like. How about a subscribe? Don't be shy. And we're going to be back next week with some great new videos, okay? I got to run. Time is, whew, time is running. I have a charity event tonight. We will see you back again next week for some more great general legal information. This is general legal information only and not legal advice, okay?